me personally, I hate taking Tylenol, et cetera, and all that kind of stuff. I don't like taking any over-the-counter medicine like that. Kendra prefers all natural, and that's fitting, because she owns a holistic wellness shop specializing in CBD therapy. These are one of our best sellers on the medicinal side. This is our sleep aid. Prescription drugs and doctor visits have always made her nervous. This was Kendra on the operating table back in July of 2021. Oh, I was very scared. I got the chance to document an operation she was terrified to receive. She almost walked out moments before going under. I might have mentioned to you at the time, if they would have left me alone five more minutes, I would have been gone. I was, my car was <laughs> outside. But two years after her operation, she's happy she went through with it because she'd been in a lot of pain for a long time. It just almost feels like somebody hit you with a hammer in your stomach. That's the best way I can describe it. I wish I wouldn't have had waited so long, though. Kendra says she suffered in silence with a condition impacting hundreds of thousands of women each year. A lot of my friends have no idea that I've been living with this. Um, you know, I'll be out in the event and why well, I have to go to the restroom every 30 minutes to change a pad. They have no idea. Her symptoms had been going on for months and years and she had just been suffering with it. Kendra's doctor, Suzanne Slonim, says what she was suffering from are uterine fibroids. These are all multiple, multiple fibroids all throughout the uterus. Here's a big one here. Kendra's past MRI images show many of the non-cancerous tumors that grow in or around the uterus. If a fibroid is right under the endometrium, it can cause very heavy bleeding, really heavy bleeding, even if it's just a centimeter, the size of a peanut. And on the other end of the spectrum, there are women who have 50 fibroids that bring the whole uterus up to the size of a watermelon who say, oh, they don't have any symptoms. Dr. Slonim is the medical director for Fibroid Institute Dallas. She says one in three of all hysterectomies in the U.S. are linked to fibroids, and she's dedicated to bringing awareness to the minimally invasive procedure Kinger chose to receive called uterus uterine fibroid embolization. I've seen for decades women having to have a hysterectomy when they didn't really want to, or women who are so sorry that they did. Women need to know what their options are. It's a very unknown, basic unknown procedure, and more people definitely should know about it. If sharing my story allows me to touch people and it resonates with them, then I've done my job. That's my joy, my passion, you know, to just try to help folks.